So we'll talk about the technology and why is it, why is it different? Obviously, I, I've, I've given you guys a, a few uh, nuggets of information. It's not a soft gel system. Uh, it is actually a production process that's designed around uh, an alternate, alternative raw materials that are also conducive to the playing environment for paintball. So it's not a borrowed technology like soft gel is. We didn't take this technology from pharmaceuticals. We didn't find this technology in a, in a different application. We took existing technologies and we put them together to make a paintball for the industry. It is US and international patents pending and actually earlier in the year uh, we reserved protection um, in the foreign arena and reserved protection in over 100 countries. The examiner got back to us in record time in, in four months uh, with his 30 page opinion on why we could get a patent. So we have received a notice of allowance and we'll be taking this to countries that, uh, foreign countries that we think are viable markets uh, as we progress um, and to get our actual patent. That same application, I'm sure some of you in this room have read and have tried to make heads or tails of. The same application that was filed in the foreign market is also filed here in the United States. And the, and the, the patents, the prior art that we will compete against are those, some of those that are in the foreign arena um, and then a few extras as well outside the U.S. So new production method no longer uses animal-based uh, gelatin. Uh, it is automated, highly precise system using modern technology. Predictable and repeatable process eliminates variability batch to batch. And I'm sure some of the gelatin uh, suppliers that are in this room will tell you it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world to make a consistent gelatin-based paintball. There's variability because there are things that happen in production that can't always be controlled. We have a precise process that is consistent every time we run our product. And whatever that quality is that comes off our production line will be the same quality when the players get the product at the end of the day. There's no variation. Humidity doesn't affect the product. Temperature won't affect the product up to a certain point. Um, so they're guaranteed to get that that same freshness, that same quality as it rolls off the production line. So obviously, the gelatin-based system utilizes the unique characteristics of gelatin to encapsulate. It's a unique form fill, fill seal process. We have kind of carried that into our process as well in the sense that we didn't build our technology based on the gelatin. We built it based on our fill. And I've seen some pretty interesting comments out there on the forums. Our fill is 98% water. There's a couple percent there of active ingredient, ingredients that give it some unique attributes. Essentially, our fill is a gel when at rest. So it's such that when we, when we inject it into a cavity, we can invert that cavity indefinitely without that fill running out of the, out of the shell. That allows us to fill two shell halves independent of each other, make those seal those together to create a paintball. Now it's a gel when it's at rest, but upon impact, it actually liquefies. Liquefies to the extent that it will mark a target, create the mark of, uh, that you want, of the desired size, shape, um, and opacity, and then it regels within milliseconds. That fill will not run down a target, it won't run down a bunker, um, it won't streak. You won't see these bunkers that have fill running all the way and there's puddles around. Uh, due to high heat. It will stay whatever shape it takes on when it hits that, it will say it will stay unless removed. Now being 98% water, the majority of that mass will actually evaporate after use depending on your climate and the conditions. We have a uh, high throughput and we have a highly precise or highly efficient process. We have no loss of quality. Whatever scrap is at the back end of our process, we can recycle through without having to provide that, that product as a seconds to our customers. There will be no drop off in quality. We also have the ability to, to provide advanced customization. Because there's no drying time in a post-production process, because it doesn't take two or three days to, to eliminate or remove the moisture from the shell, when it comes off the back end of that line, it's ready to go. That means because of our high throughput, we can provide customization to the field owners that allows them to institute policies such as field paint only and give them a unique product for their business. We'll get into more of that later. So let's talk about the paintball. So 
when we filed our patent application, where our intent was to protect our, our idea twofold. First, in the process, the method in which we actually manufacture the paintball. The second was the device itself. It was actually the paintball itself. So what's unique about the paintball? Well, as I described to you, those of you who have read the patent application know that it is a multi-phase fill, meaning we can encapsulate a bottom half fill and a top half fill in a single chamber paintball. There's no divider required. There's no barrier between those two fills. So that paintball will actually break blue, green, yellow, orange, purple, pink, whatever color combination you want. Ultimately, if we, when we get more advanced, it can break red, white, and blue if you want. It's a unique system. So we patented the, the, the ball and the process to manufacture the ball. As I said, the outer shell is not gelatin. It is a corn-based biopolymer. It is completely immune to moisture. So if it's 90% humidity out, absolutely no effect on the quality of the ball. If you drop it in a puddle, pick it up, keep playing. It's not going to affect you. It has a precise shell thickness. We start with a material that has a given thickness at the beginning of our process. And because we know the depth of our cavity, we can determine how thick that shell wall is. We can determine its mechanical properties and how fragile, how brittle, how sturdy that ball is. And we can determine that the, the wall thickness so that we get the breaking properties that we want. It's, uh, our paintball is going to be 686, 0.686 pole and seam diameter, plus or minus three thousandths of an inch. Um, that will not change after production. We can also print, emboss, or engrave the outer shell. So if you have a unique logo that you want to see imprinted on your ball, we could do that for you. Uh, printing will be a little bit further down the road. We're not offering printing <coughs> on our first production line, but as we add capacity, we will add that feature in, 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 our, uh, in our process. Biodegradable. Um, the corn-based uh, biopolymer breaks down um, as soil bacteria consumes it. Um, it is not a polystyrene. It is not uh, a plastic that you're going to see in a landfill that you can claim is biodegradable but will be there for 100 years. It is not that kind of plastic. Uh, it also has higher uh, top temperature tolerances. This is important for field owners, <coughs> as you know, because you don't have to worry about, that's eh, 90 degrees in this building. Is that going to affect my paint quality? Uh, you're not going to have that player that sticks a tube of paint in their car, goes back to retrieve it, and pulls out one mass lump of paintballs. All right. That's happened to me obviously a few times. Uh, the fill is non-oil. There's, there's no oil in our fill at all. It's 98% water. What's unique about this obviously is the mess, the cleanup after use. 98% of that mass is going to evaporate. It's going to just simply go away. And what you're left with is a thin film on whatever structure, bunker, uh, hopper, whatever's left behind or whatever it's hit, that's all that's left behind. It washes off easily. Um, the two color fills available, again, I know I've talked about that, but we'll get into, we'll get into product specific attributes here in a moment. So it's eco-friendly. Uh, one of the big things here, odorless when biodegraded. <coughs> so you're not gonna have that stench of a paintball field that you can, you can pick up in the parking lot. Um, it will not attract wildlife, no bears, no flies uh, from the biodegradation of the shell. Um, no concern for runoff. The environmental impact is no longer a concern. You don't have to worry about that oil getting into waterways. You don't have to worry about it inhibiting plant growth at your fields. You don't have to worry about the fill. Is, the fill is not corrosive, so you don't have to worry about it eating away at your goggles, uh, the plastic on your goggles, or your rental inventories. It's also going to be a lot easier to clean when you get your rental fleets back. You don't have to worry about an oily, nasty mess that you have to use alcohol to remove. It's water. So if it hasn't already evaporated, it will. And you're just all you have to do is wipe off the film that's left behind. 